Thanks for rolling up to Tuba Marley, a certified pothead. Smoking a little bit of what is this? One of my um early, early afternoon joining early, early afternoon, early, early, early afternoon. We're gonna jump into uh one of our stories for the day. See what's happening in the world of weed, bruh. Let's go. Well, cannabis delivery is available on Uber Eats in Toronto starting today. CP24 is Lindsay Bis- Uber Eats? Uber Eats, your weed in Toronto? Well, cannabis Canada? delivery is available on Uber Eats in Toronto starting today. CP24's Lindsay Biscaya is live for us in North York outside one of the stores participating in this new joint venture. Uh, Lindsay, this is pretty... A joint venture? What do you mean joint venture? Why is that a joint venture? O- Uber Eats is just a delivery service. Historic because Uber Eats has never done this before and Canada or Toronto is the first place they're doing it. Exactly. I'm wondering some shit, right? All right, so Uber Eats is delivering weed. How many motherfuckers is going to be... How many people are going to get their bags pinched by um Uber Uber uh, delivery drivers? You know what I'm saying? Who uh transporting weed back and forth. Exactly, yeah. Toronto is the first place that this is kicking off, uh, the partnership between Uber Eats and Leafly. Um, So this is going to draw a lot of attention. Uh, It is a big deal, and it's quite historical. I'm joined now with Lola. What is Leafly doing? Leafly's the hub for this? Kasim, she is the general manager for Uber Eats Canada. Hi, Lola. Good morning, Lindsay. Didn't expect that. Diverse company Uber Eats is. Good morning. Thanks for joining me. So I guess I'm going to start off by just asking you, you know, like this is such a big undertaking. Like I said, this is going to draw a lot of attention. Um, what, how did this whole idea come together? Because people want weed and they, everybody can't go to get it. What, what kind of question is that? People want weed and, some, and a lot of people don't have cars. To where they, and then like, like, let me, I don't have like access to shit in every little area. I don't understand what you mean. Well, Uber Eats, uh, as a lot of people know, is somewhere that you can go to to you know order your favorite meal from your favorite restaurant. But over the past couple of years, uh, we've become a lot more than that. Uh, we really want to be that one-stop shop where you can get everything from your favorite meal to groceries, etc. Uh- so Uber Eats is trying to trying to do what deliver everything you want. Like if a motherfucker said, "Yo, I need some shit from Home Depot." Y'all going to Home Depot next? Do you need? Yo, Uber Eats don't want nobody leaving their house. Uber Uber wants you standing at home so that you don't leave. <laughs> Um, we've been expanding our offerings from offering pet food, flowers, alcohol, etc. Uh, and with the legalization of cannabis uh, in Canada and also new provincial rules during the pandemic that allow for pickup and delivery, it was only natural um, that we would look at trying to uh, eventually provide this offering. What the hell kind of goddamn marketing footage was that? That shit was... <laughs> And so why was Toronto uh, your starting place? Because weed is legal there. Toronto's big as fuck. Um, so. Well, I think Toronto is a place uh, where we have lots of consumers who really know and love uh, Uber Eats. We also wanted to work with a trusted partner, Leafly. Um, Leafly has a network of trusted legal cannabis providers across the country, and we thought that Toronto was a really great place for us to start. Well, okay, 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 okay. Leafly has a connection of trusted providers. That's that's, that's kind of because Leafly, all you got to do is say, "I grow weed," and you can get some shit on Leafly. Like they're not going through like. Sending motherfuckers to these facilities to make sure that they 
and explains this issue. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I, I do want to ask, though, I mean, I know that, you know, um, those who are purchasing cannabis in this way are going to be basically ID'd when uh, they have it dropped off at their place. But for parents who might be hearing this and worried that, uh, you know, this, this might be a, a way for children under the age of 19 to have easier access, what, what's your response to that? No, it's not. Jesus, you got you got it. There may be kids trying some shit like that, but what do you, what do, what do, you do? What do you do in that scenario? Okay, I'll go pick up a half ounce of weed and I'm taking it to to from 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 this store and I'm taking it six miles to to this house. I get to this house and then it's not I mean a, a 17 year old. And then you're going to tip me thirty five dollars. Well, safety is absolutely critical for Uber mm -hmm. Eats, uh, for Leafly and also for the licensed cannabis retailers that we're working with. So we have several um, things in place. Uh, to keep this top of mind. Uh, first of all, anybody who is ordering cannabis on the app will be prompted several times to ensure that they are over the age of 19 uh, and also to ensure that they're not intoxicated. The deliveries will actually over the age be carried of 19, out by the staff. That's, 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 that, that's not bad. Over the age of 19, be able to buy. That's, that's, uh, that's dope, bro. Now, did you out of high school, you decided if you was going to college or not? Of the licensed retailers, all of whom have cancel certification, which is the province's uh, education. Yo, you see that, boy? That's your purple butt. ...program for retail workers in the cannabis sector. Uh, and those staff of the, of the licensed yeah, retailers will be responsible for fucking... bearing... Automatic games, automation? Etc. Man, them automatic automations, bro. Um, upon making the delivery as required by the regulations. And just quickly, Lola, before I let you go, this is starting in Toronto. Is there plans to bring it elsewhere to other cities and towns in Canada? Right now, we are starting with three licensed retailers in Toronto. This is the first time that a major online delivery platform in the world is delivering cannabis. So we want to make sure we get it right. So we're going to be seeing how the experience goes for the retailers, for our consumers uh, over the coming weeks. Uh, and we'll see where things go from there. That's that's. I think that's dope, bro. I think that's dope. Uber eats and weed and shit because you can sell home and shit. Uber eats weed. Uber eats your munchies. Netflix movies. Uber eats your dog food. Yo, I'm telling you, bro. It's gonna get to the point where you ain't got to leave your kid to do shit, bro. You, you like that's like you, you're not gonna be able to you, you okay that's lola Cassum, general manager for uber eats canada thanks lola thank you uh, so there you have it. Um, a very uh, historic day, really, especially for people who, you know, maybe if, if this gets more impaired drivers off the roads and if this stops the illegal sale of pot, which Uber Eats says it might help with, uh, it could be a good thing. But we'll just have to wait and see how it goes. I'll send it back to you. Well, hold on real fast, though, because like, look, though. When I buy a date, right, I'm not paying a nigga to deliver the weed to me. So, so like, so like this Uber Eats shit, right? If I Uber Eats dink, right? And I'm just paying a, let's say I pay a buck for the half, right? Then I Uber Eats this shit. Is my half now a buck 13? Because I Uber Eats that shit. When, nah, see, I don't. I don't know, bro. What y'all think, bro? If Uber eats, if Uber eats comes into your area, it starts Uber eating weed. Is you, is you grabbing some? I mean, they might, they might give you a coupon and shit. That you know, what I mean, get get some for like fifteen percent off that bit, bro.